Orly, I challenge you to DIY my boa trim shirt. Everyone loves it, and I know you can make it. So show me what you got. Ooh, Aaron Lim, challenge accepted, my friend. This is gonna be a good one. This is super easy. Many of you may know Miss Erin Lim because she is one of the very beautiful hosts of E! News. She is sexy and cool and fun and has great style and I'm lucky enough to call her a friend and I love that she challenged me to do this top because it's super simple and it's super fabulous. Now, you might realize that I am not at home. I'm at my brother's apartment and we are going to shoot here and that is because, well, because this is what my house looks like. Um, oh my God. We are deep in the middle of construction. There are huge holes under all of these plywood slabs. And then, you know, we were shooting outside for a bit, but that's not gonna happen. Yeah. Wish me luck, would ya? Yeah, it's a lot. I mean, it's gonna be really great, but it's just a lot. <laughs> it's so much, but Today we get to make something fun and one of a kind and creative, so I'm super stoked. Uh, let's get to the materials. First thing you're gonna do is take your boa and wrap it around your sleeve. This is gonna tell you how long you need for each sleeve. Once you find your point, just go ahead and cut it. And you can actually use that as a guide for your second sleeve because obviously they are the identical width. Now you're gonna find the underarm of your sweater. This is a perfect place for us to start because it's gonna hide the seam in a place you wouldn't really see anything. So now just use your thumb to hold the boa in place and grab your needle and thread. You're really just gonna go up through the inside, around the boa, and back through the inside. You're gonna be essentially just looping and tacking the boa down onto the very edge of your sleeve. You can see there that it overlaps. We don't wanna see any of our sweater from the outside. We really want a nice, clean, crisp edge of our boa. Now when you get to the end, make sure that you cut off any excess that you might have, just like I did. Just a simple snip is gonna do the trick. And when it comes to closing it, overlap it. There's a little bit of rope in there and you wanna sew the two together. That will keep them nice and closed. Now go through with your fingers and fluff it out. By sewing it, your needle and thread is gonna tack down a couple of those feathers so you can go in and kind of fluff it out. Now this is the no sew version. We're just gonna be using Fabri-Tac. This is gonna take you two seconds to do, but it is permanent. So only do it to a shirt that you know you wanna keep this way. Super simple though, obviously. Cut off your excess and add a little bit extra glue on the very end to make sure that that seam is hidden really well. And that's it, let's take a look. accepted your challenge and I think I succeeded. You guys, it's so easy whether you want to use fabric glue, whether you want to sew it. Either way, it's super easy. It took me five minutes to do and it's fabulous. The good thing with this one obviously is that it's temporary. So if I decide I don't want to ruin this shirt, I can always take it right off. The fabric glue is going to be a little bit more permanent. Super easy. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like and comment and share with a friend. And if you're new to the channel, I hope you subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace out.